Hi, welcome back to Bees Aquatics, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a little um, DIY cricket enclosure so you don't have to waste your money on buying one of those already made ones. And you can keep a lot more crickets, and I'll also be feeding my fish, so let's get into that. First off, we're going to feed the axolotls here, so all I'm going to do is just open up the top, and then I have my two night colors here. Um, well, one night collar split in half, and then uh, two of those always gets the bigger one, so right here. I'll just grab them off right there. Just hang them in the water. Oops, I dropped them. And there, you got that. And so now, let me... Fuse back there, so let's go grab hers. And feed her, so... She gets a smaller one, because she is smaller. Um, and then, we might not be able to see her. She is a lot more of an aggressive eater, but she just, like, always hides back there, so... I mean, recently she's been up here, but... She still hides back there a lot. So here, I'm just gonna... Same thing. Oh, and missed it. Now she's gonna attack my hand while the goldfish gets it. Oh, good. Here we are. There we go. She just engulfed that completely. And now let's get on to feeding all the other tanks and the frog. All right, so let's feed the 25 real quick. So I'm just gonna boom that up, pop that food in right there, and close it back up. And then you can see <clears throat> they start to eat slowly. Um, this isn't the most active tank, but like the other snails are growing a bit. Um, and that algae is going back blue. I don't really like it, but we'll see. And then these plants are still growing like really nicely, especially this, this one stem of this plant is going much better than the, all the other ones. I don't know why, but everything's still growing nicely in here. It's a great tank. Um, and yeah, they're eating, they're all doing good. So let's move on to the puffer fish. The pufferfish are also still doing great. Um, it's kind of like updates too, I guess, because I'm just showing you all the fish again. And this guy's really active for food now, and he was the shy one before. Um, but now the smaller one's a little bit shyer, and then I need to pick that up, that fell over. Uh, but I'll do that soon. And then so, you can see him just eating little blood wounds right there. But these guys are like the pickiest pufferfish ever, because they won't like, they'll eat them off the floor, but like after like two minutes or a minute even, they just give up on eating them off the floor, and then they just, um, just leave them on the ground so I have to pick them up the next day. Um, but yeah, the pufferfish are doing great. So let's go feed this tank its actual food um, for the fish and then the 55. So for this tank, I just take like, the leftover blood worms from the uh, pufferfish and then I will just open up this top again. Kind of lay it back so it doesn't knock anything over. It's not knock the food over. Take the blood worms in here, just um, dethawed thawed and frozen blood wounds, and then I just open it up and dump it out like that. And they all go out, and then I just get to eat everyone right there, and then I will put a pinch of flakes in there after this. Um, but these guys get fed blood wounds just every day because they have leftovers, and the pufferfish cannot eat that much, so yeah. And these guys are just really active when they eat, so it's just really cool. And so I sprinkled the food in, in here. Um, and they already kind of already went at it, um, so I kind of missed it. But then we're just gonna feed the 55, and I'll show you uh, the cricket tank um, uh, enclosure thingy, so you can keep crickets. That was kind of hard to say. Um, and I probably won't feed the frog because um, you're probably not gonna see anything like normal. So let's get over to the 55. Not the 55. Nothing to really change. This guy, I guess I haven't updated on you on him after we got him. But he has been very active. Um, he's a really aggressive eater, so I want to show that. So, let me just get a pinch. And uh, I'll know it's feeding time right now. As you can see, he just goes all around the tank eventually, once it gets down to mid-level. I'll come up and feed this side real quickly. And then, you can see he's just a really aggressive eater. In the tank, he's one of the most aggressive. Or maybe the most aggressive in the tank. But yeah, there's this tank eating. And there's all the fish. So let's go show you how to make the cricket thing now. And one update I did forget to talk, forget to talk about is that the um, shrimp in here did die because this guy right there, our stupid Grammy, killed all of them and then ate them. So I'm kind of disappointed about that, but what do you do? Um, so I'm just not going to have shrimp in that tank. I'm just have maybe snails because... At least for now, because nothing's really carpeted yet. Um, and I don't even know if it will, so. It looks fine right now. Um, but I will keep you guys updated 
on what if I ever move the fish out if I want shrimp. All right, I know there has been a lot of updates in this video, but I do have two more updates because it's kind of just an update video and the quicker things is like a extra thing. But um, I did get the filter for the 55 gallon tank. It's right here. I mean, for the 29 gallon saltwater tank. Um, it's right here, and uh, it's a 55 gallon filter. Um, and uh, I don't know how long the saltwater tank will be up once I get it. it. Like I will do it still, but I'm like in that one stage where like. I'm second guessing it, but I've done that with all my tanks, so I'm just gonna go through with it. Um, Cause I, every time I do, I quit the saltwater tank and then I wanna do it again. So I'm just gonna go through with it and yeah, I don't know how long it'll be up once I have it, but um, so yeah, it's still coming. So it's gonna be a while though. So yeah, let's get into the quicker thing finally. So the last video when I showed you um, the stuff I put my frog with, it was just this tiny little bin that could have like maybe 20 crickets in it or something. Um, and it was just a waste of money. It was like probably 30 bucks just for that. When you can make your own DIY one from like literally 10 bucks, all you need is this thing right here, this bin and like some spare egg cartons, uh, egg carton. You can see like the, um, toilet paper rolls in there and you still need to buy like food for them and stuff. And like, let's get like a sponge in there with a little bit of water in it. Um, but a lot cheaper and you have a lot more space. So I have about 15 here right now. You can see there's a giant one right there. And, um, so he's have a clamp on top and they're all in here and all a lot of them are hiding there so this thing it's just like i just want to show you it. it's like literally this bin is like 10 bucks get all the egg crate stuff basically for free this is the stuff that came with my old one i just put them in here they don't even hide in them um and then yeah just need to get really that food cube you don't even need these trays those trays are just um because they came with the other thing so i have them in here um but you do not need them at all so it's literally like 20 bucks with the food so and that food lasts you a lifetime so it's 100 percent worth it so i'd recommend just doing it if you have crickets um most people do so but if you didn't know that there's that so that's all i have today that's all i have today um it was just kind of showed you updates and then that cricket thing just in case you were um in need of something with crickets and so yeah thanks for watching like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye